Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a new video for me, something different that I am trying, and I want to see how you guys like it. So this is a little series that I'm looking to try to start if you guys enjoy it called Try This, Not That. I personally love products I regret buying and things I don't like. I love those kinds of videos. But for me, I wanted to do something a little bit more positive, show you, okay, I didn't like this, but since I don't like this, if you want something like it, you could try this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry my hair has not been brushed. Um, we're about at 10 p.m. right now and I don't know where my hair brush is and I don't feel like getting up and going and finding it. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy hearing some of my favorite products that you can replace with some that may or may not be a hit or miss for you. Um, just because something doesn't work out for me obviously doesn't mean it won't work out for you. So feel free to try it at your own risk. And then the last thing I will say is just because one product didn't work out for me from that brand, it doesn't mean the brand sucks, okay? I know you brands are watching this. I know you are. Just because one product didn't work out for me doesn't mean I think you suck. Otherwise, I would say don't buy from this brand because they suck, you know? Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and also hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. If you guys are interested in this makeup, I just did a full face of first impressions with drugstore makeup that will probably be up after this one. So definitely keep an eye out for it. If you want to see all these products, then let's just go ahead and get started. So this isn't going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to kind of pull and share with you guys. The first product I want to mention is if this didn't work out for you like it didn't work out for me, I have another option option for you. So this is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. I can do a full wear test on this if you guys want me to. I was actually going to do that, but I really wanted to get this video up. So, you know, I figured I would go ahead and throw this in here. But if you guys do want to see that video, I'll be more than happy to do it. Just let me know in the comments below and then like a comment that says to do it so that I know you want to see it. These are just way too creamy. These are something where if you have very oily skin, I don't think you're going to like this. This is just a little too much for me. It made me look like a grease ball within a few minutes. I had a video filmed with this and then I just didn't upload the video because I absolutely did not like the way it turned out. My skin looked terrible in that video. I definitely think it's because this foundation, it was just a little too heavy for me. It's just too oily and it just didn't, it just didn't sit on my skin very well. If you want to try stick foundation, I do have another option. It is a high-end option but it is the best stick foundation I have ever tried in my life. It is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. If you've been following me for a while, you know I've mentioned this so many times. It's a great full coverage product. It lasts all day. This is another product that I've mentioned before that if you do have oily skin and you're wanting to wear this in the summertime, I wouldn't necessarily wear this to like an outside concert because, you know, you will get very oily and it will start to kind of look a little bit cakey if you're not careful. But this is like a go-to kind of fall winter foundation foundation for me that I can wear outside if I'm not sweating a lot or if I do want to wear it in the summertime I just make sure that I'm going to be indoors most of the time but I love the finish of this it is just absolutely stunning it's more of like a natural finish and it really covers up everything so beautifully it doesn't accentuate your texture your pores anything like that by far my favorite stick foundation out there so if this did not work for you Definitely go return it, save up a few more dollars, and get the Hourglass one because this is a great alternative to it. If you have dry skin, you might really like this. I haven't really seen that many reviews on it, so I, I don't really know what people think about it. Um, but for me, it was definitely just a little too heavy and oily and made me look like a grease ball. All right, moving on. So next up for concealer... This is a really popular one that a lot of people really loved, but again, I think it's just because my skin type and different problems that I have, because we all have different skin types, all have different skin textures, and just things that we're looking for in products as well. So the product that didn't work out for me is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. This was so heavy on me, like... Oh, I could not make this work. I could not make this work. It was just too oily, too greasy. It just didn't work out well for me at all. I could kind of tell too when I first took it out. I was like, ooh, this looks like it's not going to work for me because it is very like dewy. I have to be very careful on what kind of concealers that I use because I do take my concealer down here onto my cheek just to add a little bit more coverage over my redness. Um, and I find that it helps prolong the wear of my foundation too, like the coverage and everything. So that's why I like to do it. But anyways, so I do take my concealer down quite a bit to help cover up that redness and also kind of highlight that area. And this just did not work in my T-zone whatsoever. I didn't find that it really covered up that much as well. It just wasn't my favorite, but the one that I recommend trying if that didn't work out for you either or you're just looking for a great drugstore concealer is 
definitely this Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I thought this was going to be kind of like that, like super dewy and just not work for my oily skin, but I was pleasantly surprised. This has such great coverage, but it's more like on the matte side. It's like a natural matte kind of finish. It's definitely not dewy at all on my skin, and it lasts for such a long time, and it just looks really beautiful. It's one of my favorite drugstore concealers. It's actually my top favorite drugstore concealer at the moment. There hasn't been anything to really top this, so I love it. Definitely try this out if you're having a hard time with this one or just any drugstore concealer in general because it is good. Moving on to, okay, what do I, oh, this. Let me talk about this for a second. So this is a Cover FX Shimmer Veil, and um, this is in any color. I've tried a couple of these, and they all do the same exact thing. And I'll put it on, and first off, it's hard to apply. I did a video where I was actually like, I think it was a chit chat, get ready with me. I was talking to you guys applying this, and it was so difficult to put on, like, and to make it look seamless and just really beautiful and blended. So right off the bat, I was like, ooh, I don't think I'm gonna like this, and I didn't do an update on that video, but if I did, I would have came back on camera later that evening and you wouldn't have seen any shimmer on my eyes like I don't ever touch my eyes during the day and this was completely gone completely gone within a few hours I even told Davis I was like it just did like a it was literally a disappearing act I was like where did this go instead of spending your money on this I recommend buying the Stila what are these called magnificent metals glitter and glow now these are a little bit more of a chunky kind of glitter this is definitely more of like a shimmer sheen but if you just want that really sparkly effect go for this because it's gonna last all day it looks so beautiful it's easy to apply I feel like you can't can't go wrong with these guys. They are by far my favorite like liquid glitter. They just look so beautiful and they last all day. So if you're going to invest, I recommend the Stila ones. I mean, I may have done something wrong with this one. I don't know, but it definitely didn't last on my lids at all with a primer or anything. It just didn't work for me. For blush, I have this Benefit Gold Rush. So the reason why this is in here is just because I don't like the color of it. It can work for people with more fair skin for sure. If you have like a medium skin tone, this would be a nice kind of flush for you. But for me, it's just way too light like it barely shows up at all but I like the idea of it like I like the idea of this color you know what I mean I like this color scheme so instead I recommend trying out this Koki blush up blush palette and I like it because this has like the same idea as this but it's just more pigmented it's going to show up on your skin if you're like medium to tan or even deeper skin tones because this one's a little bit darker but I don't know if you guys can really tell with the lighting but they kind of have that same idea Main, mainly these two this one on the end and this right here but mixing a little bit of this color in with this shade gives you something like this but it's just a little bit deeper does that make any sense like I feel like if you want more color payoff but you like the look of this get this one you can mix these two shades to kind of get this color um, this also is more of like a mauve in here as well if you wanted to use something like that this is great has really good color payoff looks good on the skin lasts all day this one I just needed a little bit more from it even though it does smell really really good this is the next thing this is a Laura Mercier secret brightening powder for under eyes and I just do not like the way this looks underneath my eyes. First off, I don't really like powders like this anyways for underneath my eyes because this gives me so much flashback. The flash photography because it's such a white, finely milled powder that it just like really reflects with the flash. So I don't like this, but if you do want to brighten up your under eyes and set it, I recommend trying out these KKW Brighten Up powders. I think they are so good and these seriously brighten up your face. I've used them in so many different videos. They've been in my favorites videos and they're just so good. And I think they look great in flash photography. So this is the shade number three. I use this all the time, as well as this shade number two, which is more of a peachy color. So it's gonna depend on what you wanna use more. I kinda go back and forth with both. I love them equally. I think they're both great. They really do highlight the skin. They also set that concealer in place as well. I just think it's a better alternative to this because this, for me, just, it's just too white and too intense for my flash photography. Next thing is actually with lip liners. So there is a brand of lip liner that I tried 
This is, and I actually just tried a lip liner from them in my drugstore video, and it's really good, but this one sucked so bad. This is the J Cat Beauty Rocker Chick Velvet Touch Waterproof Gel Lip Liner. I don't know if I got bad ones that could be what it is. This dried out my lips so bad. Like, I was so uncomfortable wearing this. Like, I, it was so dry and not comfortable whatsoever to wear. And I have so many lip liner favorites that I kind of was just like, okay. Goodbye. And I went back to my other drugstore favorites. So Palladio, I have raved about their lip liners for so long. They have some of the best lip liners that you need to try because they're amazing. Gingerbread, who remembers gingerbread? Let me know in the comments. That's one of my absolute favorites. Also, Flower Beauty has awesome lip liners as well. Essence has really great lip liners. Honestly, the drugstore has a lot of great lip liners that you don't have to go buy high-end or anything like that to get a good color. A lot of these lip liners too, like these brands right here, at least I know you can use them as your actual lip color. So they're so creamy that you can line your lips, but also fill them in and wear them throughout the day as a regular lipstick. For bronzer, my not this product is the Too Faced Unicorn Treat Tears. Almost said treats. <laughs> Uh, bronzer right here and honestly this whole collection just wasn't my vibe but then again none of the mermaid or unicorn collections really are my thing I just don't find them practical so I didn't really like this bronzer mainly because of this lavender part right here if that wasn't in there I would probably like it I do feel like it's a little more on the orange side and it is pretty dark so this is the iridescent mystical bronzer First off, I don't really like things that are iridescent. If this didn't work out for you, but you want that really gorgeous bronze glow, I recommend this Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast. This will give you that same effect. I know on camera right now, at least to me, it looks like it's matte, but it does have a nice sheen to it. So if you're looking for something that's going to give you a really nice bronze glow, definitely go for this. Or you could just go for the Butter Bronzer in the deepest shade, which is what I'm using right now. And oh my gosh. It is gonna be so hard to top that. Another thing is this Amuse Cosmetics foundation. It's the matte finish foundation that I tried from the Shop Miss A thing that I did. This was just ugly on my skin. It did not flatter my texture, my oils. It was not a good mattifying foundation whatsoever. If you're looking for a great affordable mattifying foundation, something that's going to look amazing on the skin, definitely get the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. This is one of my favorites. It makes your skin look flawless, like incredibly flawless. And I was just thinking today because I made the CoverGirl foundation video live, I was like, oh my god, what if I mix that with this? I think they will be so pretty together, so I'm gonna try that and keep you updated. But this is a great, affordable, mattifying foundation. You don't need to mix this with anything. It is absolutely stunning on its own. Next up, we have eyeshadow palette. So my not favorite is the Catrice Cosmetics, the Modern Matte Collection eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, this is just dull and boring and bland. And I mean, I get it, people love these colors. Do not be offended <laughs> if I just like dogged your favorite product, I'm sorry. But to me, this is just boring. I don't I don't get it and applying it to the eyes I feel like there's barely any color payoff you can barely do everything with this palette I don't know I just find it very boring so instead I recommend the makeup revolution um, ultra eye contour light and shade palette so you still get some of those cool tone shades in there these are definitely more pigmented and I feel like you could do a few more looks with it all of these colors in here I believe Yes, all of these colors in here are matte, so these are as well. And you just have some other shades to kind of play with and create different looks. And you're going to get some dimension in there with the blacks and the deeper colors. But you also have those lighter shades as well. You could also use these contour and highlight shades on your eyes if you wanted to. This one with more variety and better color payoff is just a better option than this one. But then again, if it works for you, it works for you. So I do love these two brands very much, and I'm surprised I don't like this product that I'm about to share with you. So this is the Tartlet Toasted Palette. Now, I don't completely dislike this palette. My thing is there's so much fallout with it that it makes it difficult to work with, and it's just not my favorite warm tone palette. Like I was gonna compare this to like a Natasha Denona palette. Like I was gonna say, Definitely get the Sunset Palette. I was looking through my drawer trying to find a better alternative than this one. This is not a complete shit palette, but it's definitely not my favorite. I don't know. I just feel like there's way too much fallout. It's just nothing super crazy amazing. I love the other Tartlet palettes. I think they're beautiful. But this one, I was excited for. But I just think there's better ones out there. Like 
the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Now let me tell you, when I was going through my drawers to kind of see what was a better alternative um, when you got more shades, you get a lot of the same shades with these two palettes. I don't know if y'all noticed. I don't know. I'm late, I guess, too, because dark kind of purple brown is Ashes in the Urban Decay and Fireside in here. They're pretty dang similar. I mean, you get a lot of the same shades. So there's 12 shades in both. I like the way this one blends better and it doesn't have a lot of fallout. So if you do like these kind of colors, go for the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I like the color payoff a little bit better. There's not as much fallout. And I just like the variety better in this one. I don't know, I think it just looks a little bit better. So that's my opinion. They're very similar. There's 12 shades in both. And the last thing I wanna to mention to you guys is lip products. I tried out these Makeup Revolution matte lip glosses. These are definitely more of a matte liquid lip. I don't even see these as a matte gloss because L'Oreal came out with matte glosses and I could see where they were going with it. This is definitely a liquid lipstick. This is not a matte gloss in my opinion whatsoever. And it's very drying, so just FYI. Instead of buying this, you could, if you wanted the matte gloss effect, totally go buy the L'Oreal ones. If they still have them out, I'm not sure. Um, I think they had like a whole line of matte lip glosses at one point, but Again, I can't guarantee that they still have them, but instead you could try out some other amazing lip products. This is my collab with Palladio. You guys, this is a custom made formula. This is something that I worked hard on. This lasts all day. It's comfortable to wear. The three shades that are available are beautiful. They go with so many different skin tones, so many different looks. Highly recommend them. They're just some of the best liquid lips and I continue to wear them to this day because I'm obsessed with them. If you wanna check them out, I'll leave a link down below for them. But definitely, these are like my top liquid lip. Another great liquid lip is from Ardell. This is the Nude Photo Matte Whipped Lipstick. I really like it because it's comfortable. It doesn't last a super long time like the Palladio ones that we have, but this does last pretty well, but once you start to eat food, it will kind of come off because it's more of a whipped formula. It's not like a matte liquid lip. So just keep that in mind, but this could be kind of like your matte gloss if you wanted it to be, you know what I'm saying? That is all the products I wanted to mention to you this time. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments um, what you guys thought. I had so much fun filming it, honestly. It was definitely fun for me to go through my bad bin and kind of see like what I didn't like and if I had any alternatives that were very similar, but just performed better so that was all of my recommendations so thank you guys so much again for watching don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on my next video and I will see you guys in my next one bye